up guys welcome to another video today we're reviewing the book of boba fett episode 2. this episode came out on wednesday and stars tomorrow morrison as boba fett now before we start with hit that like button subscribe to post notification bell so you know if you're a video let's just start let's start talking about the good so the opening recap of the previous episode i thought it was great that gives all the important information from that first episode that you need to actually understand this episode uh the opening sequence i thought it was a good opening sequence um it's boba fett and fennec shan and they're sort of interacting with the Nightwing assassin, uh, their prisoner, which was uh, one of the assassins. And I thought it works. They're bringing the assassins to, um, to the huts. And I think it works in terms of suspense because you don't know what's going to happen to that Nightwing assassin. You don't know what they're going to do, what's going to happen to Boba Fett. So I think it works really, really well. Um, the cinematography, which of course was shots, the camera was the lighting, is fantastic. I thought it... Uh, looks really really well done. It looks similar to the first episode, but then again the first episode looked really really good um, The character design especially Ma Shives, which is this alien creature with a long neck Fantastic. I'm very very happy that Star Wars is going back to practical effects um, Just like with every other Star Wars film That is the one thing that I love about Star Wars is the practicality of it and this alien alone Ma Shives looks awesome um, the reveal of the Huts, which I think are Jabba the Hutt's siblings, I thought it was great. Um, I like how the Huts are used in this TV show, um, because they're actually, um, needed because Boba Fett has some sort of deal that he makes with Huts. Um, so I thought it worked really, really well. Um, there is a lot of awesome and edge of your seat action sequences in this episode, especially the Tusken Raiders and Boba Fett versus the trains, which is the sand battle. It was very, very well done. The action sequence, the cinematography, especially for that action sequence, looked fantastic. It's easily one of the best action sequences in a Star Wars TV show or live action TV show thus far. Um, I thought it worked very well. Um, and it fits the tone of the episode because this episode's more fun and lighthearted. So that sequence alone was a lot of fun and it looked very, very well done. Um, the training sequences with Boba Fett and the Tusken Raiders. Uh, Boba Fett learns how to fight like Tusken Raiders, and the Tusken Raiders learn how to um, ride those speed, uh, the speeders, the sand speeders, and I think it works very, very well. Um, I wasn't a big fan. Well, I didn't think I was going to be a big fan of the Tusken Raiders and Boba Fett working together because the Tusken Raiders were kind of this, this nomadic group that just doesn't have any laws, and they're basically savages. So I didn't think that it was going to work all that well, but just by that sequence along with Boba Fett training um, the, uh, the, Tus the Tusken Raiders, I think it worked very, very well. Um, the initiation sequence, this is Boba Fett and the Tusken Raiders. Um, the Tusken Raiders have a staff and they make it uh, for Boba Fett. That's near the end of the episode, but there is a major training sequence in this episode. And I thought it works very well. You see Boba Fett actually, I guess you can say, become a Tusken Raider. But he doesn't really become a Tusken Raider. But he sort of gets initiated into the Tusken Raider lifestyle. And I thought it works for this episode very, very well. Um, the flash rat sequences, especially the training and relationship between Boba Fett and the, and the Tusken Raiders. There is a flashback sequence, well, multiple. But that one, I think it worked for this episode because the Tusken Raiders are heavily, heavily involved in this episode. Um, the continuation of the story. I thought it was a fantastic continuation of the story. Again, I was on the edge of my seat. I always wanted to see what was going to happen next, so I thought the continuation of the story was very, very well done. And the score by Lud Ludwig Goransson is great. Once again, a great score by him. Um, of course, he made The Mandalorian, and he scored the first episode of Boba Fett, and he's going to be scoring the entire uh, TV show. But it's this episode, his score works very, very well. Uh, and the ending sequence. Now, the ending sequence, I thought it was great. It was a great ending sequence. Uh, it sets up the next episode perfectly. And I think it works as a, I guess you can say, conclusion for this episode. That's about it. There's nothing bad about this episode. The Book of Boba Fett episode 2 is a fantastic continuation of the Book of Boba Fett. It is better than its predecessor and it's constantly entertaining. And I highly recommend it. And I'm going to give the Book of Boba Fett episode 2... And A. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and post notification bell so you can know if you're a video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.